there's been a controversy thrown into Monday Night Football because ESPN has pulled the open that's been there for 20 some odd years of uh, Hank Williams. All my rowdy friends are here on Monday night. Are you ready for some football? That whole thing, it's gone because Hank Williams is uh, kind of a giant douche. Uh, he goes on Fox and Friends, and naturally, uh, Fox and Friends, man, we've had a lot of fun with Fox and Friends on the Young Turks. We ran through this, but we're going to do it from a football point of view here. So Hank Williams goes on Fox and Friends, ostensibly, I guess, to promote Monday Night Football, but he, what he ends up talking about is golf and how the golf game between John Boehner and Barack Obama with uh, Joe Biden and John Kasich, uh, one of the great political travesties of all time. First, the interview begins, and you got the Fox and Friends folks. Uh, they're talking to Hank Williams, and he's in Nashville, and he seems uh, disgruntled. He seems grumpy. Uh, and then he just makes uh, appropriate remarks about uh, Megyn Kelly slash Gretchen Fox. Here's the uh, first clip. Oh, I'm sitting here in Nashville at the... A little studio. Okay. Uh, yeah, your body language says uh, leave you alone. <laughs> uh, your hands are yeah, crossed. Whatever, you're shaking yeah. us off. Okay. Hey, since you're I'd rather be up there. I'd rather be there looking at Gretchen. Well, there you oh. go. Well, well, we, good we morning get to you, you too. <laughs> good morning to you too. Yeah. Yeah, and I bet Gretchen would love you to be there. Because that just seems like the kind of guy she'd go for. Okay, so whatever. He's a little inappropriate. He's a rock and roll star, a country star. I got it. Although, as Anna points out, he seems out of it. And I don't know that we focused on that enough on TYT. So uh, then uh, they uh, get into um, uh, uh, talking to him about uh, uh, politics because everybody wants to know what Hank Williams Jr. thinks about politics. Clip two. I'd love to pick Go your right brain in. about politics. Yeah. All right. So I'll start with a, an, an easy question. Who do you like in the GOP race? Nobody. <laughs> All right, so, all right, it's getting bad for Hank Williams, and now uh, he's about to get in some uh, uh, significant uh, trouble. But first, he makes a point about that golf match between Obama and uh, Kasich and Biden and, uh, and Boehner, which apparently to uh, 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 Tea Party people like Hank Williams Jr. was uh, something of a travesty. I was not aware. You remember the golf game they had, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Remember the golf game? Boehner. That was one of the... Biggest political mistakes ever. Ever. One of the biggest political mistakes ever. And uh, if you don't understand it, as Gretchen Carlson doesn't understand it, uh, oh yeah, come on, come on. Here's where it gets ugly for Hank Williams Jr. You mean when, when John over. Boehner played golf with President Obama? Oh, yeah, yeah, and Biden and Kasich, yeah, uh-huh. What, what did yeah. you not like about it? It seems to be a really pivotal moment for you. Come on, come on. It'd be like Hitler playing golf with Netanyahu, okay? Okay. No now, in a great moment, the guy on the end, Brian Kilmeade of, of uh, we've made fun of Fox and Friends because they're, man, they, they, they got all kinds of problems there. But Brian Kilmeade, he's irritated. He doesn't want to be talking to Hank Williams about politics. And to his eternal credit, uh, he's like, Dude, I don't know what the you're talking about, man. No. I so don't yeah, I don't, don't understand the one that analogy that may, actually. Well, it's well, it's I'm glad there. you don't, brother, because a lot of people do. Well, you know, they're the enemy. They're the enemy. Who's the enemy? Uh, Obama and Biden. And, uh, are you kidding? The Three Stooges. That's only the two. One that <laughs> Steve Ducey. That's only two. So uh, I, I like about that is that. Uh, um, uh, you're going to be hearing a tremendous amount of Obama uh, throughout the Obama. Okay. There we go. We're going to get a lot of that. Obama and Biden, the three stooges. OK, so he suggested that uh, that compared the golf game between uh, Boehner and uh, Obama, between Obama and Boehner to Hitler playing golf with Netanyahu. Then in his uh, apology, uh, he is suggesting that no, 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 I didn't say that uh, Hitler was uh, Netanyahu, I mean that <laughs> Hitler was Netanyahu, nice, that Obama was Hitler, I was just saying these guys don't get along. I don't know, I don't think he was suggesting that Boehner uh, was Adolf Hitler, uh, but nonetheless, uh, ESPN has seen fit, despite, by the way, among the worst apologies of all time uh, from, uh, um, from our good friend uh, uh, Hank Williams. Here's his apology. Uh, uh, Williams, first of all, said that he's always respected the office of the president. Uh, and then he adds, every time the media brings up the Tea Party, it's painted as racist and extremist, but there's never a backlash, no outrage uh, uh, to those comparisons. Again, this is his apology. And finally, working class people are hurting. Doesn't seem like anybody cares when both sides are high-fiving it on the ninth hole when everybody else is without a job, makes a lot of us angry. Something, he says, has to change. The policies have to change. So there's Hank Williams Jr. apology, ESPN. Un they're unmoved. They took him off Monday Night Football last night. The question, should they have, despite the 
unbelievably funny things that he said and how incredibly, what a blast it is to listen to. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz along with Rookie Mankiewicz and we're hosting TYT Sports and we'd like you to subscribe, wouldn't we, Rookie? What are you looking at?